brothers, Josh, Noah and Ned, are just about old enough to remember their dad. Old enough, too, to remember how tough life became after he died in 2015. Their mum was left alone to raise them, but because their parents weren't married, the family were denied any bereavement support from the government, and their loss felt even greater. It was all about survival for quite a long time. You know, there were times when I couldn't afford food. You know, at one point, one of the children said, oh, mummy, can you get me some, some more school shoes? And I said, oh, why? You know, and he said, well, they've been uncomfortable for months, but he hadn't wanted to tell me because he knew that things were difficult. With the boys a little older, Sam is now back working full time, but for many years after her partner Alex's death, she was forced to cut her hours at work to care for them and eventually sell the family home to make ends meet. I think about a year in uh, after he died, um, it really like hit me, uh, like the impact of it and um, on like how my mum was coping financially. I think it's quite unfair because like, I think like, person that was married like, and the person that's not married need the same amount of help like, regarding what's happened to them. Bereavement support payment is a means-tested benefit worth up to £9,800, but only husbands, wives and civil partners are eligible. Each year, an estimated 2,000 families are denied the same support because the parents weren't married. And despite two court judgments ruling that discriminatory and unlawful, the government is yet to change it. Kevin Simpson brought the latest case against the government. His fiancée Debbie died two years ago this weekend, but he wasn't entitled to support to help care for his seven and nine-year-old daughters. Enough's enough. You know, it's down to the kids. You know, they didn't choose for their parents to get married or not. They see them as mum and dad. But then that's the system that's in place to treat them different. The Department for Work and Pensions told us they're carefully considering the court judgments on cohabiting parents, a change they say would cost £15 million a year. But parents like Kevin and Sam believe that just as death doesn't discriminate, neither should the government against their children. Daniel Hewitt, ITV News.